What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're talking about silver and why right now might be your last chance to buy it for a very long time. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so silver. There's been a ton of stuff going on with silver recently with the COMEX. There's a lot of misinformation out there talking about the manipulation of silver, the paper silver market versus the physical bullion market. Uh, there's talk about shortages, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to talk about why silver might be much harder to buy in the future compared to right now. There's a lot of things that point to that. The first thing we're going to talk about is the COMEX. Now, the COMEX or the Commodity Exchange has been around for about 100 years. And typically in the past, if you wanted to buy silver off of the COMEX, you would buy futures contracts. And then once those contracts expired, you could take physical delivery of the silver. Now, there were certain rules and regulations that were put in place back in the 80s when the Hunt brothers ran the price of silver up to basically not allow individuals to buy massive amounts of silver and take physical delivery. One thing that the COMEX can do now is not allow you to take delivery of the silver. They can instead settle the contract in cash. So essentially, instead of getting this massive amount of silver that you were hoping for, they can just give you cash because they simply don't have the silver or they could simply give the silver to someone else like one of these big manufacturing plants that's been buying silver for tens of years and they would probably prefer to do business with them because they think that they're going to be buying more silver in the future now why does this even matter and why would this keep you the casual silver stacker or silver investor from taking your fiat currency down to the local coin shop or taking it to an online bullion dealer and simply buying silver that way because surely you're not trying to buy silver off of the COMEX. That's just these big players, right? Well, if the COMEX is defaulting or just settling in cash and not actually delivering silver, that means there is a silver shortage somewhere. Now, yes, silver is being mined currently, but is it being mined fast enough? If the demand outpaces the supply and there is a shortage, this could shoot the prices up higher, much higher than they are currently. So I decided to go to one of the online bullion dealers to see how much silver they had in stock, and I was surprised here on atmex.com i noticed there's an enormous amount of items that are usually in stock which were on pre-sale here you can see the fillies and the maples on pre-sale the britannias and the kangaroos on pre-sale here we've got some gold on pre-sale the list goes on and on and on they do have some silver in stock but honestly there is way less than i expected now yes they did have some stuff in stock but the premiums were absolutely outrageous when i buy silver online i prefer to shop from a more reasonably priced bullion dealer one of my favorites is sd bullion if you haven't checked them out for yourself definitely do so there'll be a link down below in the description now coming back to why this might be your last chance to buy physical silver at least for a while i want to point to the fact that the demand right now is higher than it has been in a very very long time and this has to do partly with the fact that the price of silver is going up and people are realizing there is massive potential for it to go much much higher so people are buying silver they're buying as much as they can and this is basically leaving the retail investment silver market heavily depleted as you just saw there's a lot of items on pre-sale but those items might not even be available for weeks or months so if the demand for physical silver continues to increase it might get a lot worse now one of the reasons why people think silver could go a lot higher is the paper silver market is ridiculous now this information here was provided by usdebtclock.org and if you look on the bottom right corner you'll see the paper to gold ratio now and the paper to silver ratio 
now. So the paper to silver ratio of 188.42 to 1 is saying that there is almost 200 ounces of paper silver being traded for every one ounce of actual silver now this has led a lot of people to believe that the silver market is heavily manipulated but the people that are doing the manipulation are like frankly my dear i don't give a damn so it's not gonna stop and when you trade almost 200 coupons for something but there's only one of that actual thing in existence this is going to create problems it's going to create shortages it's going to create massive demand for that one thing when people finally try and get it which is happening right now i was just scrolling through the subreddit wall street silver and i saw there was many new people getting into silver there was picture after picture after picture of people posting their recent pickups and talking about all of the silver that they're trying to acquire so if you're trying to buy silver right now you're not the only one so is this your last chance to buy silver well it might be your last chance to buy it at current prices i actually noticed that silver took a little bit of a dip today and i usually like to buy on the dips i try not to buy when the price is going up i like to buy when it goes on sale now even though the spot price did go down slightly the premiums are still very high on lots of different silver products and I know that it's hard to get around these premiums unless you're buying private party or potentially you're buying a little bit less desirable silver, but I always recommend buying the silver that is extremely liquid, extremely easy to resell in the future. And I did make a video on the top five silver bullion coins in 2021. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description i highly recommend you checking it out now i will say that some of these coins might not be available depending on where you're trying to buy them from but they are still great options if you can find them now as we wrap up the video i'll leave you with this when i first started stacking silver i bought this particular silver round i got it for right around 15 dollars and I remember at the time thinking, I'm not sure if silver is going to go up or if it's going to go down, but I do know in the long run, silver goes up. And I'm so happy that I started stacking when I did. So I want you to take a step back and think about the price of silver right now and everything going on in the world. And do you think silver is going to go up or down? And then make your decision whether to buy or not based on that. So lastly, I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.